Jared, as you look at those guys around you on, on that depth chart at wide receiver, who excites you? Is there anybody that you, has really been, in your mind, you know, making plays that uh, has, has apparently taken that next step? Yeah, I mean, I think you got the guys, you know, from last year, um, Jordan Frederick, um, Pinzel Doe, they've done a good job uh, making plays and stepping up and kind of just, you know, taking advantage of the experience that they had from last year. Um, then you got a couple of the younger guys like Alex Erickson and, and Robert Wheelwright. Uh, both of those guys are young um, and experienced, but you got a lot of talent. Um, and they just work hard every day. So, um, you know, between those four, you know, I feel like I'm missing a couple because we got a lot of guys right now fighting for spots. But, um, you know, those guys have done some good things this, this fall camp and just got to keep being consistent. Like you, Alex, as a former high school quarterback, what about uh, you know the transition from that position to the one you're at now it makes it doable? You know, I think just being a quarterback, um, you got to understand the whole play. And so, being a wide when you when you switch to wide receiver, just kind of understanding the whole offense that helps out a lot because you know if you're running a post, you have to understand what that's for. So if you're trying to open the coverage up for a corner route, um, you kind of understand that. And that makes you play a lot faster than you could if you're you know thinking and trying to figure out what to do. Um, so that's one thing that helps. But obviously, you know when you go to high school or to college, it's hard enough transition. But when you switch positions, you know from quarterback to receiver, you got to work on you know getting in and out of your break. You know releases on the line, things like that. Um, so there's some of the positives and negatives, but um, I think, you know, you can make the transition if you just really work and, and just listen to your coaches and try to take coaching points. Does athleticism just help in that transition? Yeah, yeah, definitely. I think, you know, just getting in and out of breaks. I mean, obviously you can work on that, you know, as much as you want, but um, you got to be able to get in and out, you know, just by being athletic and things like that. But obviously, you know, body position and, and, and things like that.